Hey guys. So I know you just watched the Greenville um, collection video, but a little peek behind the curtain here, that was filmed a long time ago. And I haven't really done a go get them kind of collection thing in a while. So I thought I would just show you kind of an update as to some of the stuff I've gotten in recent, in the past few weeks, months, however long it's been since I filmed that Greenville video. So this is just like a collection update kind of thing. And so I've got a lot of interesting stuff, actually. Uh, I think it's interesting, at least. Uh, to continue the Dreamcast collection, I picked up a copy of Crazy Taxi, because you have a Dreamcast, you have to have Crazy Taxi. What I've always heard is one of the better Dreamcast games. I picked up a copy of Shenmue. Uh, I haven't yet, I've yet to play it, but I've always heard good things about this series, and I'm very interested in giving it a try. So I'm hopeful that this will be a good play. And then while perusing my local game store one day, I found a copy of Grandia 2. Uh, I have not played the original Grandia. I think that's only a PlayStation release here in the States. And so I'm gonna look out for that and see if I can find it so I can play and enjoy both of those games. Another game that I've heard about from the BitEffect crew, um, just listening to their uh, podcast, I have I picked up a copy of Onimusha on the PS2. I know this game recently got a re-release, a remaster, a remake, I think it was just a remaster, but I've heard good things about Onimusha, so I'm very interested in giving it a try. As far as old cartridge games, uh, on the Super Nintendo, I picked up a copy of Mega Man X. I've always liked the Mega Man games, at least from what I've played. I never got into X, not because I never liked it, it's just I never had an opportunity to play it. I played the original Mega Man games on the Wii and just never got around to trying X. So finding a copy of it, in rather good condition is really a really cool find and I actually get a chance to see how bull crap hard these games are. I don't remember if I showed this one in a different video, I don't think I did, but I picked up a copy of Ninja Gaiden, uh, another series that I've just never gotten around to playing, something that I've always wanted to, and I've played this a couple of times, I've yet, I haven't beaten it, um, but it is a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and trying to work my way to the end. Uh, I picked up a copy of the original Castlevania, uh, another series that I never really had a lot of a lot of time with. I know this isn't the one that spawned the Metroidvania title, but this is still like the history of the series. I know this one people like, two they don't, I believe is the general consensus, and three, I don't remember. I've never heard a lot about three. It's like one's good, two's terrible, and then go play Symphony of the Night, so. Uh, I'm very interested to give this a try. Uh, going back to Mega Man, I picked up a copy of Mega Man 2. Uh, playing these on the Wii, this was always my favorite one. This was always the one I went back to. That might just be because my first real experience with Mega Man was The Adventures of Dwayne and Brando. If you guys remember that musical group, I, I, I just have connections to this game, specifically of Mega Man, maybe because of that song, but also it just seemed to be the most fun of the uh, Classic Mega Man's to me, at least. And I picked up Star Tropics 2, Zoda's Revenge. I did not know Star Tropics had a sequel until I spotted this game in one of the game stores around here. I loved Star Tropics, like it was a lot of fun, and to learn it had a sequel that I did not know about got me kind of excited. But I have to actually get around to actually playing it. Seems to be the case with a lot of my games. <laughs> For the N64 games I've picked up, I picked up Forsaken 64. This had been sitting at my game store for a while, and it's something that had my attention, but never really, I never really bothered trying or thinking about picking it up. I did plug it in to make sure it worked and played a little bit of it. It is not what I expected. And I'd be curious to know like what the actual point of the game is, but it seemed like one of those that I'm gonna need to read, to find it and read the manual to actually know what the hell's going on. I picked up Micro Machine 64 Turbo. This was this was more just one to pad the uh, pad the collection. It was cheap, but it's a Midway game, so Midway makes good games. And then I picked up Banjo Tooie. Uh, we actually had this game growing up. Me and my sister did, but not a couple years ago. She got an N64 from our cousin for Christmas. I kept our childhood collection, and I wound. This was one of this was one of if not her favorite game on the system. So I wound up giving her our childhood copy. And so it's good to finally have it back in my collection. And now the biggie. This is kind of what I was rather excited to find. I, mm, 
difficult to actually drop the money on it, but I'm glad I did because now I have, finally have, a Sega Saturn. Uh, if you've never heard about the uh, debacle of the Sega Saturn, I advise you go look up the Sony 299 clip on YouTube. It's kind of hilarious to know the history of the Saturn and why this was kind of one of Sega's dying breaths. It's an interesting system. It's a good, it's a good history lesson and I'm excited to have it and I'm excited to finally be able to collect some Saturn games. And with the Saturn, I also picked up this uh, sampler copy of Nights in the Dreams. It's really all they had as far as Saturn games go. Um, I was hoping to find some other stuff, but I also would like them with their cases. And I know this Sampler Nights is one of the things that is one of the games that didn't actually have a proper case. So this is when I'm okay with getting just the disc. Anyway, the collection's slowly growing. We actually went back to Charlotte yesterday and there will be a video about that coming in the coming weeks. Uh, I just wanted to get this out before we get to the game exchange video because I'm gonna be looking for some Saturn stuff and some for some 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 stuff for something I picked up in Charlotte yesterday that I am excited for. But you can see that in the Charlotte video, in the in the Charlotte part two video, which will probably be after the game exchange. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to sharing even more of my collection with you as it continues to grow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.